Hey up, welcome back Triple T Golf. Down here at a very, very cold Whitwood. Like many small YouTubers, don't have a massive budget to take your jet setting around Europe um, to show you golf courses that you might never go to. And it's frustrating because this time of year it absolutely sucks at the end of the day. We can only make videos with what we've got. Today it's a frozen golf course, even though the sun's out, um, and three degrees. So, we've done something, we've done a thing, <laughs> we've jumped on the Timu bandwagon. Now, we've ordered a few things, some of which I'm going to show you today. So join us for Triple T Golf's Timu terrific tantalising golf video thing. <laughs> Oh no! Yes! <laughs> Triple T Golf is normal golfers showing you out there, the general public. You're not as bad as what you think. It could be worse. You could be. So I can just hear you all at home now saying, Tony, come on, tell us what you've got. We can't wait. Well, what we've got is individually wrapped golf balls. Some extremely, I get this, extremely durable. The casing is, I can't get bloody into them. Extremely durable rubber tees. Now, I don't know if you can see that on camera. They're not rubber. They're plastic. Now, these were marketed with the idea that they wouldn't snap. So that'll be interesting. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, my Pro V1s get individually wrapped in little dodgy bags. But we're going to use the three-piece PGM, which stands for Pro Golf Master, uh, Timo Golf Ball. Now, I like ordering Chinese bits of tech. Silly little projectors for your phone, these microphones, stuff like that. I'm not so sure that sometimes, though, everything's as good a value. The prices are up on screen now, but I believe these were about £1.50 per ball. Now, if you want to play Pro V1s and you want to buy them that's already been played, like lake balls, you can get them for about a quid a ball. Um, and if you were to buy 12 of these, you're looking at about 20 quid which you can get the um, tailor-made distance for that, for less than that, in fact. So it'll be interesting to see how these go. Hopefully I won't lose it. Somebody's having fun up there. Hopefully I won't lose it, but if I do, I've got another one, so I have no fear. Now, I know what you're probably thinking again. Tony, it's white. It's icy. You're not going to be able to find it. Well, I thought of that as well. Guess what? Boom. Check them beauties out. Wow, that looks weird. That looks really weird. Apparently, these will help me find golf balls. The pictures and everything on TV said these glasses will help me find golf balls. Now, meh, it does look brighter, but that's white, that's white. I'm not sure that's going to work. But hey, let's have a laugh. We're going to play the hole four, which is par five. We're going to play hole five and hole six. And let's just have a bit of a giggle with you. And uh, hopefully, oh, they've snapped already. <laughs> Hopefully we can make a video that's worth watching. So if you watch the channel at all, you know that the direct line is over them trees. The first ever hit with a PGM golf ball. Now the good thing about these being plastic, it should be easy enough to get it ground. He says. <sighs> Obviously with conditions like this, we are playing temporary mats on the fairway as well. So... Something else to be excited about because I hate them. Right, here we go. Will the tee snap? Will the ball even go in there? <laughs> well. Tee's still there. And ball went well. Let's go see if we can find it. Eh? Yeah, so sometimes I think you get a bit blinded with these Chinese websites. Like these golf balls, for example. I mean, it's worked out extremely well. It's in the middle of the fairway. It didn't feel particularly nice, but it's, it's gone some distance, in all fairness. I'm quite impressed with that. But a friend of mine bought some Lavellia mics, 13 pound. Brilliant, they worked perfectly. I was really impressed with them, he was impressed with them. But sometimes you get a bit blinded by the cheaper stuff and end up buying just general tat, really. Anyway. We're in Midlock Fairway. So yeah, let me know if you've bought anything from Timu or Wish or 
Alibaba or whatever the other one's called. Um, it's a bit of a risk, is this? I'm, <laughs> I'm taking a five wood. Now I am on the temporary mat, bit of a money saving advice for you. Instead of spending out on one of these expensive mats, you're pretty fake grass at your point in summer. You don't need it anymore, it's winter. Just cut a square off. <laughs> Sorry, love. Right. This could bounce anywhere. We could lose it here. Oh my lord. I mean, it's bounced. I don't know if you see from shot trade, it's bounced at left at flag. Shot along deck. <laughs> A violent sort of right hand turn but wow might be ordering me some pgm balls <sighs> i told you it was frozen for any winter golfers out there ah! this is where it becomes a little bit more mental because no matter what you do here it's literally down to the frozen gods as to where your ball ends up right pgm i think it needs to land at the front obviously but at the same time, not too high. I don't know. It's just a guess in it, let's be honest. Okie doke. Third shot. Oh, <laughs> I hope you saw that on camera. Wow. Oh, that was terrible. Sort of backs up everything I just said. Oh dear. Yeah, that's that's frozen. Right, we need to get this somewhere really near. 47 degree and I'm moving leaves like it really matters. Stop then. Ooh! Right, so for a par with the PGM. We know it's gonna skip. Woo! Wow! So have a look at it. It's not marked up. It's. Do you know what? It's performing all right. You know. It's performing okay. On to the next hole. Okay, so I'm not so sure this will pick up shot chaser because of the bloody sun. I just moan about the sun. Wow. Okay, so we've we've got the unbreakable tee. We've got the amazing Timu PGM golf ball. We're on hole five. It's 400 yards. Looks like it's thawed out this one a little bit. Let's get down there, let's see if we can hit it down. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to see it. It felt nice, it felt all right. Do you know what, these balls are really surprising me. Really are surprising me, and the tee. Still got the tee. Now I'm gonna let you into a little secret. I used one of these tees on the first tee box and it snapped straight away. I've just hit two tee shots with one of them and it's still going. Let's see if we can find it. I mean, under no circumstances whatsoever am I telling anybody that wants to take golf seriously to go buy golf balls from Timo. Um, it's the price point that sort of confuses me a little bit because like I said, my winter golf ball usually is a tailor-made distance plus. I think the 15 quid off Amazon and you get 12 balls. Um, if you get 24, you can get, yeah, I am squinting really bad. The sun's directly in my face. Uh, if you get 24 balls, I think they're even cheaper. So this puts it more expensive than those. But as a golf ball, Minus the price tag, after five golf shots maybe, six golf shots, it's doing all right. Now, distance will be a big one for this. If I've hit a decent drive, I'll usually be around the 150 markers. Anything past is a plus, 
Hey up. What the hell's that doing here? Okay. That's a weird ball to beat in a golf course. <laughs> Okie doke. So like I say, anything past the 150 mark, I'll be over the moon with. Anything around or just before, I'll be sort of expecting. And anything sort of closer to the bunker, I'll be a little bit disappointed with. So, let's see if we can find it. Right now I can't see anything, not even grass in front of me because the sun's blinding. I kind of called it. I said anything past the 150 marker, and I'll be over at Moonway. <laughs> so it's just about there. So do you know what? It's performing well. I'm 135 away. I've got an eight iron because, well, I just have, I've been hitting it a bit short. So I'm going to go with an eight iron, a bit more soft. The flag is at the front, so I'm hoping I'll get a decent bounce and it'll just bounce on somewhere. Okay. This is when I ate it in these mats off with iron shots. I have absolutely no idea. None at all. I think I might have seen something bounce near the bunker. But where it's ended up, I've got no idea. Right, so there we have it. We haven't lost it. It's actually turned out to be a decent shot. And for all you doubters out there, still got the other one, look. Still there in its individually wrapped baggy. 47 degree in hand again. See if we can get a par. Oh, again, too hard. Wow, Tony. This is quite a difficult put, you know. Then for centric cup. Oh, go on then. Go on then. I'm thinking that might stand for Pa Golf Master. Last hole, par three, 180 yards. This could bounce, will it bounce all the way up? I think the top bit's rubber. The problem is, it don't go in any further than that. Oh wow, that's well, well too high for an iron. Oh well, I'm gonna go with a six iron because of the height of the tee. And I'm gonna hope that I get a bounce. Right. Oh god, that's high. Oh no. I didn't see where it bounced to either. I was too busy looking to see if I'd snap my tee. Oh shit, this could be a disaster. Right. Oh. I think it's safe to say. The tea's dead. I'm going to take blame for that. That's my fault, not the tea's. I touched upon it last time. I know these videos aren't great. And if you are watching it, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. We're not a channel that's got money galore. Everything we buy, like this Timo stuff, it's all out of his own pockets. So hopefully there's just some part of the video that might make you smile, might make you laugh. And that's the whole sort of aim of it all, really. If you're sticking by us with these videos, we really, really do appreciate it and we really are thankful. No sign of this bloody ball yet. We don't have a mega budget. We don't have an indoor simulator to bring you different videos. We have Whitwood. This is our home. And they support us. And by putting these crappy little videos out, hopefully it's showing you that 
some of the incredible work really that these guys put in to make sure that these are open for the members because it's been closed for the last three days and it's open today and do you know what it's playable it really is i found it and i had absolutely no right whatsoever to be that close to the green so can i recover can i get this ball somewhere close and hope and pray that we can get away with the par and we can be level par with the par golf masters golf ball from Timu go on roll up there go on keep going keep going keep going oh no way not a chance in hell alright guys so this is what situation I'm in now I've got this for par to have a level par three hole video thing with the PGM golf ball from Timu and the tees from Timu so I will say I'm in this position and that's got nothing to do with the ball it's purely my rubbish golf let's see if we can get it up there no no not hard enough do you know lad the line it's not hard enough I don't like the sound it makes off the club head I'm not going to lie to you alright can we get a bogey at least one over for three yes alright We'll take that. One over, three holes. Pro golf, master golf ball from Timu. Um, yeah. So what more, there's not much more I can say really. It's it's done all right, you know. I'm not going to lie. I'm a lot more impressed with it than I thought I would be. It's not cut up. It doesn't even look like it's been played with when I clean all the grass off it. You go look. got a decent putting line on it doesn't sound great off the club head um, but we've managed to keep all both of them so my plan is that uh, I'll take on one of the lads using the other one as well like I said we have bought some other stuff from Timu one particular item that I'm very excited about bringing you <laughs> um, and yeah there's just a few other little bits and, and bobs that we'll put on the channel now Will I buy them and play with them? No, of course I won't. Mainly because I'm a bit of a golf snob and I like my Pro V1s or I like my TaylorMades or... You know what I mean. And I think supporting some of these golf shops... I mean, we've, we've, we used to, I don't know where they've gone, but we had a couple of young lads down here on a weekend selling golf balls. And I'd sooner pay a pound, a pound fifty to one of them for a Pro V1 that's in decent condition than pay one pound fifty from one of the biggest online Chinese retailers I suppose that's taking over the world <laughs> but yeah would I buy them only for another video if I'm honest but that's pretty much it guys all I can hope for is that you've just enjoyed this video or parts of it um, yeah we'll catch you in the next one see ya Triple T Golf is normal golfers showing you out there the general public you're not as bad as what you think it could be worse you could be up.